Hey guys, in this video I'm going to explain type conversion. Type conversion is the ability to change the data type of a value to another. And I'll explain how to do this with strings, numbers, and booleans. Here's one issue when accepting some user input. Let's say we have variable age. And I'll create a window prompt to ask a user to enter in their age. How old are you? Once we accept some user input, I'm going to increment age by one because let's say it's the user's birthday. Then let's display the user's age. Console.log. Happy birthday. You are our age variable years old. How old are you? Let's say that I'm 21. I press OK. Happy birthday, you are 211 years old. When we accept user input, it's of a string data type. We can't normally use strings for any sort of arithmetic expressions. What I intended was to add our age 21 plus one. That would give me 22. If you add a number to a string, you just concatenate that number to the end of the string because a string is just a series of characters. If I need to take some user input and use it with some sort of arithmetic expression, I'll want to convert that string to a number, and one way I can do that is to use the number constructor. So I'm going to set age equal to, then type number, make sure it's capital, parentheses, and then pass in age. This will convert a string to a number. How old are you? 21, press OK. Happy birthday, you are now 22 years old. If you ever need to get the data type of a variable, there is a type of keyword. Let's display it. Type of age. So before we convert our age variable, it's a string. Then let's display the data type of age after we convert it. At first, it's a string. We convert it, and now it's a number. And then we can use it in arithmetic expressions. Here's a few other examples. We have three variables, x, y, and z. I'm going to set x to equal, and we will use the number constructor, and we will convert the string 3.14 into a number and then I will display whatever X is, as well as the data type, type of X. Remember, we're converting a string into a number. So 3.14 is now a number. Let's convert a number into a string. Y equals, and we can use the string constructor, and we will convert the number 3.14 into a string, console.log, Y, and type of y, 3.14 is now a string. And to convert something to a Boolean, you can use the Boolean constructor. So if you pass in an empty string, just a set of quotes, this will give you false. Console.log, variable z, and the type of z. So converting an empty string to a Boolean will result in false. And this is of the Boolean data type. But if you type in anything else, it will give you true. So maybe I try and convert the word pizza. When you convert a string to a Boolean that's not empty, this will give you true. If it's an empty string, just a set of quotes, it results in false. This would be useful if you need to accept some user input or user types in their name. If they skip that step and using an if statement, which we'll talk about later, you can check to see if a user typed in something or not based on if that Boolean is true or false. But we'll get into that later. So yeah, those are a few basic ways of type conversion. You can change the data type of one value to another. If you need to get the data type of a variable, just precede that variable with the type of keyword. And to convert a value or variable into another data type, you can surround that value or variable with a given constructor, the number constructor, the string constructor, or the Boolean constructor. Oh, one fun fact too, if you try and convert something into a number that normally shouldn't be a number, like the word pizza, well then this will result in N-A-N, not a number. That's just a fun fact. So yeah, that is type conversion in JavaScript. If this video helped you out, you can help me out by smashing that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.